Hey guys, this is Jerry. My voice is still a little sore, but gender and industries. I think this is a really cool little exploration. So let's go. This is one of the government agencies, Department of Labor. It's actually really cool. So you can look graphically at a bunch of things. For example, how, which industries have more men and which industries have more women? Look at this. So these are traditionally women industries. And these are traditionally men industries, right? If you if you look at traditional men industries, besides the software development thing, which there was that whole controversy with James Damore and Google, right? Cement masons, concrete, that's very upper body strength oriented, brick layers, right? Upper body strength, carpenters, upper body strength. This is upper body strength, upper body strength. Cost estimators, maybe you could give that to this. These are very STEM heavy. And then, so cargo and freight agents, um, I wouldn't be surprised if it had a lot of men. You see men are in blue, women are in green. So, I mean, this probably requires a lot of heavy lifting too, right? So upper body strength, that's a lot of men. Sales representatives, it takes, this is wholesale, there's a lot of upper body strength. Sales representatives, a lot of um, what do you call it? This is a lot of um, rejection, right? So potentially, right? Men were always taught to be the ones to initiate uh, personal financial advisors, physician surgeons, maybe more STEM related, database STEM, post secondary. Oh, it kind of evens out by post secondary teachers. So college professors, it's almost even. And then there are actually more women medical scientists and epi epidem epi epidemiologist is that the right word guys um uh market research so i mean so event planners mostly women elementary school teachers mostly women mental health substance so a lot of things that need empathy right listening all that nurses vocational nurses occupational dental hygienists wow how do women put up with looking at people's mouths man it's disgusting right the employment of males have actually kind of gone down a little bit look at this this is so interesting so but female female employment has kind of gone up a little this is pretty cool right look at this look at this. How, there's so many industries that were once male shifting to majority female look at this males used to be majority of opticians in the 50s 50s second wave feminism right and look at that now opticians are mostly female same thing with shoe machine operators interesting Bartenders, yeah, I definitely see more. I mean, that's anecdotal, but from this, this look at that. This evidence says that there are more females. So, human resources, payroll, timekeeping, more. Hey, more female bill collectors. Interesting. Even now, there's more female male machine operators, like your UPS and stuff like door-to-door -door sales, news and street vendors. So, if we look at this, um, the government data, it seems. There's still more males, at least in this, but this combines news and street vendors and all that. I don't know if this is accounted for here, um, but bakers, women are becoming bakers at a higher percentage than males. Even compliance officers, so if you exclude agriculture for obvious reasons, because agriculture is very back-breaking work, right? So you need upper body strength, which males have a tendency to have more upper body strength. Um, reservation and transportation ticket ads. So there's more females doing that. And then certain industries are fluctuating between males and females. Look at this. Law enforcement workers. So keeps going up and down. Paper, goods, machine, pre-press technicians. Interesting. Communications, equipment operators, personal care inspections testing this is really interesting so and this is one of the statistics i gave to lisa link look at suicide amounts right deaths right there apparently is a statistic that says that women actually might try to commit suicide at higher rates but men successfully commit suicide more but either way this is by deaths and look at look at look at this discrepancy man it's three to four times it's crazy this is something that I showed recently, and this is something that requires a lot of nuance. Part of the reason why there is a wage gap is that mothers take breaks, right? They have interruptions 
in their work because they have to have children. This is one of the reasons why a lot of conservatives talk about you're trying to force a woman to have a career and a family, and it's hard to balance both, right? When you take, let's say, nine months, or maybe you want to stay at home with the kid for longer, you stay two years, three years at home, you go back into the workplace, you're probably going to either stay at the same salary or even reduce your salary, right? That's the thing. So this is something I was telling Lisa Ling. Look at this. Mothers more than fathers experience career interruptions. This is from Pew Research, right? So Look at fathers, only about 28% reduced the work hours to care for children, while mothers, 42% had to, right? Fathers, 24% taking a significant time off, whereas um, mothers, 39%. Dude, I'll tell you, man, my dad, to my dad's credit in high school, I had a phase when I was really, really suicidal. My dad told his boss was a woman. My dad said, look, I need to spend more time with my kid. And she just couldn't accept it. And she kept trying to not have my dad um, come home a little earlier. Like, men face this pressure too, right? So we look at those statistics, it's like, oh my God, it's so bad for women. But a lot of these gender roles, a lot of this disposability that you have for men, you can see it manifest differently. The boss, a woman, could not accept that this father wanted to spend more time with this kid, right? Because my mom, she would come home from work, right? She's a working full-time person. She would have to cook. So my dad thought, okay, if the wife is cooking, me as a father, I'll spend more time with my son since my son's having some issues at school, having some issues with his mental health. So, but the, the boss wouldn't. And I remember my dad eventually stood up to his boss like, dude, my son needs me. I need to go. And he left. But she kept trying to give him more work because she felt like, oh my God, he can't go home earlier. Just spend more time with his son. So that's a rant I wanted to get out right now. That's a story I should have told, but I'm telling you now. About 10% of fathers had to quit jobs to take care of someone, right? 27% of women, right? Turn down promotions. So this is something, this is something really interesting that the wage gap doesn't take into account because the wage gap, you take it in aggregate, you think, oh my God, women just getting paid less. You don't factor into account all these confounds, which is something I was telling Lisa Ling. This is something else I was telling Lisa Ling. So you're taking it by hourly wages, right? This is, this is the thing. You're calculating it by hourly wages. But the thing is, men have more a tendency to just take it up the ass, so to speak, and say, yeah, if you need me to work overtime without extra pay, I'll do it, right? That's a male thing. It's we're being taught by society, we're conditioned that we're so disposable. So we're more likely just be like, okay, yeah, we put in a few more hours. Whereas if you're a woman, usually you take your breaks. That's just something that you see a lot. So this hourly thing doesn't take into account some of the extra work that sometimes men put into the workplace. So let me know if you like this type of video we're kind of exploring in this way, but you know, the gender gap, the wage gap, whatever you call it, it's a very nuanced issue, right? And when Lisa and Lena asked me about it, it was honestly very hard for me to explain to her. I tried to talk about some of this stuff. I probably didn't say it as well as I did this time. What I hope to show you guys this, since I never made it into the CNN interview, is the wage gap is a lot more complicated than you think. It's not just, oh yeah, when I hire a woman, I automatically pay her less. I mean, yeah, because screw women, right? That's, that's not how society is. So hope you see some of this. Hope this gets you to think. You don't have to agree with me, but at least listen and think about it, right? I'm not always right. So anyways, oh, by the way, I don't have my suit today. I just realized I'm wearing a jacket. Let me know if you like this kind of thing. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much. We will talk again soon. This was Jerry. Press like, press subscribe, press a comment. Bye-bye.